Welcome. If you've ever played a track you've rendered from FL Studio in VLC or any other media player, or in a browser where you've uploaded it to a streaming site, and it sounded vastly different to what you've mixed in FL Studio, this video is for you. Many manufacturers, and this is especially true if you're using a laptop, consumer-grade audio interface, or any audio setup targeted at gamers first, sell audio chipsets and sound cards with various enhancements like spatial audio, binaural audio, head-related transfer function, SRS WOW, or Dolby Atmos for headphones, which is not real Dolby Atmos, but will use phase cancellation in a stereo headset to try and impart a sense of space onto the audio. Real Dolby Atmos requires 11 independent speaker drivers and is not useful when listening to stereo audio material. These effects are often turned on by default as soon as the driver is installed and added to any audio your computer is playing. However, apps that can directly communicate with the audio hardware, like FL Studio through an ASIO driver, will not have these effects on the audio they put out. The good thing is, they can be turned off. On Windows, nasty sound enhancements are buried inside the Settings app under Sound. Some can be accessed here by clicking the arrow on your device, like the dreaded Spatial Sound option, or Mono Audio, which applies to all devices. Other device-specific settings are accessed under Advanced, More Sound Settings, which will pop up the old-school Sound Device Management window. If you select your device here and choose Properties, many devices like the internal sound card and gaming-focused audio devices have extra device-specific enhancement settings. Make sure all of these are off to guarantee a one-to-one -one experience when you're listening back to your music through a browser or media players. Windows updates can reset these settings, so every time your computer has a mandatory update, check back in the sound settings to make sure they have stayed off. And if you're using a gaming headset, make sure all enhancements are set to off in the supplied software too. And don't forget about the settings inside the media players themselves. VLC can go to 125% volume, for example. And even the current media player in Windows has a graphic equalizer that you can turn off. On macOS, these settings exist too but they are located in the Accessibility tab in the System Settings app. Especially if you're using any Apple-branded headphones, the head-related transfer function might be on by default, adding complex phase cancellation to make it appear the audio is coming from the location of the computer despite wearing headphones. And macOS audio players are also not free of audio enhancement settings. In the Apple Music app, make sure the equalizer is off and turn off the sound enhancer. If you prefer using iTunes, the settings live in the same place. Now you know all of the spots where these settings hide to ruin your producing experience. Once they're off, audio should sound the same as it does in FL Studio. Happy music making!